why would my family have a piece of a newspaper from Harmony in that yellow box? And why's my name written on it? You're sure no one in your family's ever been to Harmony? No, I told you. They said they always lived here in L.A. And seeing as how they abandoned me when I was eight years old, I guess I don't know too much about the family stuff, so... Well, I've been to Harmony. It's a quaint, quiet little town up in the New England coast. It's really kind of beautiful. <laughs> I mean, I can't imagine how anybody in my family could have gone there. This is useless. Hey, Chad, don't throw it away. It might be important. Now, is it going to help me get me back into the music business? I don't think so. And that's the only thing that's important to me right now. Not some place called Harmony. Stop making yourself sick, Teresa. I mean, you'll probably never even run into Ethan again. Well, I better not, because if I do and there's another accident, I'm going straight to jail. Teresa. Ethan? <gasps> Why did I come back to Harmony? If Louis finds out what I did, I'll go to prison. Louise! Sherry sure, Green, you're under arrest for murder. Anything that you say can and will be used against you in a court of law, you have a right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. I can't wait to hear what kind of music you picked out for charity to hear, Kate. Yeah, I'm kind of curious myself. Stay away from Miguel. He's bad for you, Charity. Stay away. Stay away. The wires are tangled. I can't get the headphones off. Here, let me help. Dun 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 That's the only music you're gonna hear when Miguel realizes what you've done. I know. I think I'm dead. I would hold the hand of the one who could leave me places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet Look, Chad, I think you need to give up on the idea of going back into the music business, at least for a while. I mean, you punched out the wrong guy. Yeah, but Howard Sanders is not the only music producer in Hollywood. No, but he's one of the biggest. And if he puts out the word not to hire you, then you don't get hired. Damn, it's not fair, man. I mean, he went back on his word when I worked my tail off for him. And I didn't ask for no money. All I wanted was credit on the song that I worked on. So obviously this Howard is not a nice guy. Ooh, hey, so what else is new in showbiz? Henry, it's not just this one album that he screwed me on, man. There's others I should get credit for. All right, so it's frustrating. What are you going to do? Yeah, I'll tell you what I can do. I can go back to the studio and take the tapes of all the albums I worked on. See, if I take the master tapes, Howard can't produce anything. <sighs> Chad can't do that. That's theft. No, it's my work. Man, he stole it from me. He's already gonna blackball me, so what do I gotta lose, huh? So stealing from him is gonna help? And, and aren't the studios guarded? I mean, aren't they? Man, I ain't worried about that. I know my way around, man. Look, 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 take a couple of days. Cool down. And then call Howard. Apologize for losing your time. Man, I ain't no way I'm gonna apologize. 
Man, he should be apologizing to me. He hit me first. <laughs> no way, man. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna take them tapes. I'm gonna use them to build my future so I can leave something more for my kids, if I have any, than this raggedy piece of newspaper that my folks left me. What if Howard calls the cops? You can't afford any more trouble with the police. Hey, but I don't care about the police, okay? I want what's mine. I didn't mean to do it. Save it for the judge. You're going to jail. I didn't mean to do it. It's not my fault. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to. Journey, wake up. Wake up. Louise, where's your uniform? I'm off duty. Now, what's wrong? What didn't you mean to do? What? What are you talking about? You were dreaming. Well, what about? What is it you kept saying that you didn't mean to do? How dare you? This is my home. What are you doing Look, in here? I heard you screaming when I came up the path. I thought you might have been in trouble. What do you want? What are you doing here? Look, I just came by to explain about that fax you saw at the youth center. You know, the background check concerning your past? <sighs> my past? What about it? What did you find out about my past? No, this can't be happening. Ethan, uh, I'm so sorry. I, I don't know how this happened. I, I didn't do it. I, I swear. Uh, I'm so sorry. the wires get so tangled? I don't know. Don't mess with it. You don't want to wake her up. I won't. I just want to hear what she's listening to, don't you, Miguel? Yeah, I'm curious. Just one more twist. Yeah, I got it. Now let's have a listen. Sorry, kids, but I need to check Charity's vitals. You'll have to wait outside. This will just take a minute. I'm sure it can wait. Please. Thank you. Hey, thanks again for making that tape, Kay. Maybe it'll help Charity get her memory back, and she'll remember me. That's why I did it, Miguel. What is Kay up to this time? There's no way she'd do anything to help Charity and Miguel get together. I don't know what you're talking about, Jessica. I bet whatever she's done has something to do with that tape she made. <laughs> That's crazy. We'll see. And when that nurse is through, I'm going to listen to that tape. And if I'm right, I'm going to blow Kay right out of the water. Stay away from Miguel. It's bad for you, Charity. Stay away. Stay away. Jessica? is so on to you, Kay. And when Miguel hears that tape, he will go crazy. I know. He's gonna find out I'm trying to keep Charity away from him just to have him to myself. This is a disaster. Uh. Well, what did you find out? Not much, really. There's very little information out there on you. The Mighty Crane family makes sure that none of their lives are public. One of the perks of being a crane, I suppose. Yeah. Then what were you worried about? I beg your pardon? Come on. You were worried that I might have found something out about your past. What was it? <laughs> I wasn't worried. Besides, there's nothing to find. And why were you snooping into my past anyway? What gives you the right? It's just a routine background check. It's a formality for anyone who comes to work for me at the youth center. I see. And how many of these background checks have you done before mine? That's, uh... You're the first. Really? And that's what you call routine? It's hmm. a good policy to check on people who are going to be working with the kids, okay? I just think it's odd that you haven't bothered to check on anyone before me. Well, it's the first time that the courts have sentenced someone to serve their community service at the youth center. Well, lucky me.
Look, I didn't come here to fight with you, okay? I came by to tell you that I need you to work tonight at the youth center. Fine, I'll be there. Just like that, no argument? Look, the sooner I get through my hundred hours of community service, the sooner I get away from you. Oh, well, believe me, it can't happen any faster for me either. Goodbye, Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. You know, just one thing before I go. What is it that you are so sorry for in your nightmare? The only thing that I'm sorry about is for giving you an excuse to arrest me in the first place. Mm. Goodbye. See you later tonight. He can't find out. No one can ever find out. Ethan, you must believe me. I would never do this to you on purpose. I swear, it was an, an accident. An accident? Yes. Like all those other accidents, oh. I suppose. You did this deliberately, and you know it. No, I swear on my mother's You're life, I crying. didn't. Yes. I saw your picture in the paper. Please forgive me. Someone bumped my arm. Oh, no, no, no. Believe me, this is not your fault. This girl has a habit of causing accidents like this one. Please. Mr. Crane, I'm so sorry. Forget about it. It's not your fault. This was caused by someone who seems to hate me. You're in big trouble, miss. Ethan's bound to call the police this time. Maybe he won't. Didn't you see how angry he was? Man just ruined my entire family's life. Louise will find out I was the stalker. He might even be the cop sent to arrest me. He'll be so humiliated, he'll never forgive me. And Miguel won't be able to go to college because Mom will be fired from her job working for the Crane family. And this is a nightmare. I'm so sorry, Teresa. I deserve to go to jail. I've wrecked my family's life. All because I'm totally accident prone around Ethan Gray. That is one thorough nurse. Yeah, they're great here, aren't they? My evil little sister can't wait to get me. She's gonna make sure Miguel hears that tape. How am I gonna talk my way out of this one? You could try telling the truth. What? You can come clean with Miguel before he hears the tape. Are you crazy? And then we can go back in? Oh, not yet. I'm not quite finished. I'll be right back. Simone, have you seen the movie Dead Men Walking? Yes, it's about a man who's about to be executed. That's right. And this could be called... Dead K walking. There's gotta be something I can do to distract them. You wouldn't. is missing. There it is. I can't believe somebody's already messing with my work. I ain't got much time before the guy gets back on his break. I gotta see what they've done to me. Stop. What the hell's that? I'm gonna change the background vocals up. Oh, man. I don't have time to fix it, but I got to. Right, my stuff should be on track. Four. Turn that. Turn this up. Yeah, 
this morning. Fridge. Howard. I warned you not to come back here, Jan. You should learn to listen. I can't believe that woman. I go over there like the nice guy that I am to explain about the facts, and she attacks me. That was some dream she was having. What are you so sorry for, Sheridan? Yeah, there's something in your past, all right. And I'm gonna dig it up. All right, give me that. Stand back. Wait, wait, wait. Sheridan. You're gonna hear a loud noise. Don't be frightened. We're gonna get you out. I didn't mean it. You have to believe me. It was my fault. It was my fault. It was my fault. It was my fault. What was she talking about? What wasn't her fault? I don't know how I did it. I mean, did I actually hit the baker's arm so that the egg ended up hitting Ethan? Ugh, I didn't see what happened either. I mean, I am a psychotic menace, a stalker in my subconscious. You are not. <sighs> Luis is home. I don't know if I can bear to face him. He'll be so disappointed in me. He's smiling. That's a good sign. Ethan must not have called yet. <sighs> but he will. Luis is not going to understand. I'm going to jail. <sighs> oh, no use putting this off. I better tell Luis before Ethan does. Hey, girls. How's it going? Good. Teresa, I love you. <sighs> what happened? What does suddenly have to happen for me to tell my sister I love her? You know I have the best sister in the whole world. I used to think she was a little crazy, but compared to a certain other lady I've met, Teresa's a saint. No, I'm not. Look, you had a major crush on Ethan Crane, but I told you to stay away from him for the good of the family, and you did. I'm proud of you. Now thank goodness that you kept your distance. That whole Crane family is really crazy. to you three guesses can I use your shower my parents are over at the other house and I really don't feel like answering a lot of questions right now of course but I have a few questions of my own I repeat what happened to you I had another run-in with my stalker what yeah right after I was fool enough to tell Frank he was mistaken Frank the new security director M mistaken about what oh that's right you haven't heard Frank never gave up on trying to find the stalker, and he finally did. Well, you had her arrested, right? No, I told Frank he had the wrong girl. I let her go, and this is what I get for my kindness. Well, now you have to have her arrested. Who is she? That's the craziest thing of all. She's Pilar's daughter, Teresa. Pilar's daughter? No. Well, isn't she working over at the house with Ivy? Y yes, she's Mother's personal secretary, and she's doing a great job, actually. She even helped me out with the report. Didn't you recognize her? She wore a disguise when she came to work. She looked totally different. Wow. Sounds like she went to a lot of trouble just to continue stalking you. You know what the strange thing is? The incident stopped until today. Why didn't you have her arrested? I, I couldn't do that to Pilar. I mean, she's been like a second mother to me. And me, since we were children. I just can't believe that Pilar's daughter's a stalker. Yeah, well, I'm walking proof. You know, I think I know what's going on. What do you mean? It's Teresa's brother, Luis. You know how much he hates our family. I'll bet he's brainwashed her to hate us, too. Get the tape and destroy.
destroy it before Jessica hears it, okay? This is a hospital. I can't even believe you'd think of it. Your father is the chief of police. Okay, I guess you're right. You guess? You're unbelievable. I don't know why I stay friends with you. All right, you can go back in now. This is it. There's no way I can get out of this one. Miguel, I think you should be the first one to hear the tape. Just so you can see how Kay's really helped charity. Miguel, wait. What? I... Never mind, it doesn't even make a difference. Kay? You had a really good thing going here, Chad. How come you had to get so impatient? I only wanted credit for the work I did. <laughs> <laughs> you have such a high opinion of yourself. Listen to the music, Howard. I mean, nobody but me could have come up with that sound. Your changes will ruin the CD. Oh, really? Oh, come on, Howard. You know you're a fraud. You don't know the first thing about music. So you surround yourself with people who do, and then you steal everything they've got. Let me tell you something. I own every note on this album. Dreamers like you, dreamers like you, Chet, they are a dime a dozen. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Well, let's see how many platinum sellers you come up with and you don't have me. And you know what else? I'm gonna be a bigger producer than you ever could be, <laughs> because I got something you don't have and you always dream about. Talent. Oh, dream on, man. I could walk out on Sunset right now. I could replace you in five minutes. And let me tell you something else. You're deluding yourself if you think anyone is going to give you a job opportunity like you had here that I gave you. You're blackballed. I already put the word out on the street. You couldn't get a job sweeping a floor in a studio in Pakistan. Let's go. Where are we going? The back alley. Now. Now I'm gonna piss you once and for all. Miguel. I can't believe it. I'm hearing Kay. I can explain. I didn't know you liked hip-hop. I know, I did a really ter... What? I said I didn't know you liked hip-hop. Of course I like hip-hop. Oh. Wait, what are you listening to? Naughty by Nature, Jamboree. Are you sure? That's Jamboree, all right. Let me listen. Tape I made? I know, but how? Okay, you're amazing. I mean, what could perk up charity faster than some really upbeat hip hop? Thanks again. I don't know what's going on or how you switched the tapes, but I'm gonna find out. And when I do, I'll make sure my girl knows exactly what you did. Ethan, did you find the towels? Uh, yeah, I got them. Oh. oh, that shower felt great. Hey, what are you reading? Well, I'm hoping it'll help me deal with my past. How is it helping? Not so far. I want so badly to stop having those nightmares and flashes of that night. You know, and the worst part is that Luis has latched on to those things I told you I said the night I was locked in the magician's box. He's so suspicious that I'm hiding something about my past. This is weird. Luis is your nemesis and his sister is mine. <laughs> Real family affair. Mm, so it seems. So have you decided what you're gonna do about Teresa? You gonna have her arrested? She's irrational and violent. I don't think I really have a choice. 
I suppose not. Well, as much as I hate to do this to Pilar, Teresa needs help. Luis, what do you mean that the whole Crane family's crazy? Well, they are, but I'm talking about Sheridan Crane. I went over to her cottage to explain something that happened, and she freaked out. Freaked out? How? Well, she did her usual hostile number. I mean, there's no talking to that woman. She's a spoiled, rotten princess. Now, thank God you finally came down to earth about your obsession with Ethan Crane. I'm proud of you, Teresa. Louise, there's something I have to tell you. Oh, no. I know that tone. Don't tell me that you're still fantasizing about getting together with Ethan Crane. No, it's nothing like that. That would be impossible. Good. That would be the worst thing that could happen to this family is if one of us got hooked on a crane. Luis, I need to tell Oh, man, I better hurry up if I'm going to finish caulking these windows before I get to the youth center. Uh, what do you got to do to the windows, Luis? I'm sealing it up for the winter. Saves money on the heating bills. And I gotta go to the basement to get some more cock. Look, Teresa, we'll talk later, okay? Yeah, sure. This is going to be even harder than I thought. You have to tell him, Teresa. When he gets back. I know. I will. Nobody disses <sighs> Chad Harris. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Chad, you never would have made it in this business. <laughs> you don't know how to plan ahead, to prepare for contingencies. What's going on in here? Chad! I'm glad you can make it, Boomer. We're just looking for somebody to take the trash out. You have a session starting in 15 minutes. You make sure he's out of here by then, otherwise, you're fired. Let's go. Chad. Hey, Boomer. Make sure your friend here. Let him know that it's in his best interest to leave Los Angeles by tonight. Because if our paths ever cross again, he's going to get a lot more than that little bump on the head. All right? Let's go. Chad, are you okay, man? Chad. Come on, open your eyes, man. Come on. Chad. Come on, man. Wake up. You can see how much Luis loves you. You know what? I'll bet he'll surprise you and won't even be that mad. He also said he was proud of me for staying out of Ethan's life. And I was going to. I don't even understand how that accident happened. Neither do I. If somebody made a movie about a girl who caused so many accidents to one guy like I have, no one would believe it. I'm doomed, Whitney. Ethan is convinced I did it, and that's all that matters. I'm going to graduate high school in jail. You know, maybe not. Oh, come on, Whitney. Didn't you see how furious Ethan was? I have to go. What? I'll explain later. I have to take care of something, something very important. Well, it's just as well. Why should Whitney have to see the explosion when I tell Louise what happened? Where's Whitney? She had to leave. Louise, there's something I have to tell you. Which reminds me, there's something I have to tell you, too. Only it's a secret. Can you keep a secret? <laughs> of course. What is it? I saved up enough money to send Mama back to the old country for Christmas. It'll be a present from all of us. <sighs> Louise, Mama will be thrilled. Yeah, she worked so hard, and I mean, it's been years since she's seen her brothers and sisters. You know, I can't wait to see the look on Mama's face when we tell her. Oh, Louise. Once I'm arrested, Mama will lose her job and you'll have to use the money to pay the mortgage and buy food. I think we should tell her now or wait till closer to Christmas. Teresa? Teresa, what's wrong? Teresa, what's wrong? Teresa, tell me.
And Frank's not there. Well, I thought you were calling the police. Uh, it's only fair that I call Frank before I do. And he's the one who discovered Teresa was a stalker. Yeah, it is only fair. I guess. You really don't want to do this, do you? Of course not. I mean, Teresa is Pilar's daughter. And the whole family's life is going to change once I call the police and Teresa's arrested. Well, then don't call the police. I can't do that. I can't risk her hurting you or my parents or my sisters. Do you really think she'd come after one of us? I don't know, but I can't risk it. But I'll make sure Teresa gets the best psychological help available. Are you calling Frank again? No. I'm calling the police. You tried to pull something, Kay. Prove it. You know I can't. And without proof, I can't say anything to Miguel. Hey, don't you guys have to go over to the youth center? That's right, we do. Let's go, Simone. Hey, thanks for the tape, Kay. Aren't you coming too? Uh, I'll be there later. I want to stay with Charity a while longer. I can't believe that wasn't my tape. How did it get switched? Beats me. I must have a guardian angel. More like a guardian devil. So then what happened? The patient's tape had ended, so I just switched it out with one of mine. I wonder what was on her friend's tape. Code blue, let's go! Stay away from Miguel. He's bad for you, Cherry. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away My tape. Miguel. Where's He's that coming from? See you later, Miguel. Stay away, Miguel. Oh, no, Jessica. <gasps> Chad. <clears throat> Boom. What happened? You gotta be out of here in ten minutes or I'm out of a job and you're dead. Howard? Yeah, Howard. You said you gotta leave L.A. by tonight. You made some pretty serious threats, so far you gotta do what he says. You blackballed me out of the music business. Yeah. Nobody's gonna touch you. Not here, not anywhere. I'm sorry, man. Well, I don't wanna cause any trouble. The trouble is I don't have any traveling money. Don't worry about it, I got you covered. Thanks, man. You have any idea where you're gonna go? To keep a really low profile? I have no idea. Harmony, where's that? It's a little town in New England. That might be just the place you need. <laughs> you know, you're right. This place is good as anywhere. I wonder what waits for me in Harmony. I know what I've gotta do. I just hope it works. Hello, police. Yes, I'd like to report a stalker. Teresa, please tell me what's wrong. It's just that I really do want Mama to have that trip. I don't want anything to happen to keep her from going. Is that all? Look, nothing's gonna stop Mama from going home for Christmas, okay? Now wipe off those tears and give me one of those dazzling Lopez Fitzgerald smiles. <laughs> That's my girl. Hey, I gotta go. I'm going to basketball practice at the youth center. Luis. You see my basketball shoes? Where are they? No, Luis. Before you go, uh, I have to tell you something important. Stay away from the guy. He's bad for me. Since when are you such a big fan of hip-hop? I've always liked it. Oh, really? <laughs> I bet you don't even know the name of this song. Um... I knew it! You lied about that, too. 
I swear I'm gonna figure out what you're up to, and when I do, oh, sister dear, all your dreams of being with Miguel are gonna be adios, baby. How did the tape get switched? I have no idea. I just hope that Charity heard enough of it to make her hate Miguel. By the time she wakes up, she should be so scared of him. She should be really scared of you. But you know what? I don't think a tape is going to change the way Charity feels about Miguel. Well, we'll see when she wakes up. <laughs>